Bitcoin is one of the top performing assets of the last decade. In fact, if you just bought $1,000 worth of Bitcoin a little over 11 years ago, it would be worth $1 million today. Can you believe that? Well, when you think about that, you know, it might seem like, oh, it's too late to buy Bitcoin. The upside potential is just not there. But what if I told you that Bitcoin realistically could be worth $1 million per coin a lot sooner than you think? Well, I'm going to talk about exactly how that's possible today in this video based upon some information that we saw over the past few days. I'm going to explain everything you need to know in this video today as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis, who's a longtime Bitcoin holder also. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And while there's definitely some good opportunity to make returns in the crypto markets, the absolute best way to make it in this space is to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do that step-by-step -step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about exactly how Bitcoin can reach $1 million per coin. Now, obviously, nothing I'm saying in this video is designed to be financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you to buy or sell any cryptocurrency based on this information. This is for educational purposes only. But let's talk about how Bitcoin can do this and actually quantify it based on some recent information. Because I can sit here and tell you I think Bitcoin is going to go to a $1 million per coin. But if I don't give you a compelling case backed up with some actual mathematics, then it's completely worthless. But let's set the stage for this. So we just wrapped up the Bitcoin conference uh, this past weekend in Nashville, Tennessee, with multiple highly famous and influential speakers casting their vision for this particular crypto asset. And among them were bipartisan U.S. elected officials talking about the future of cryptocurrency, specifically Bitcoin, in the United States and how they intend to make Bitcoin a reserve asset in the United States. So wait, what? Yes, you heard that right, making Bitcoin a reserve asset inside the United States. So let me explain why this is such a big deal, because people have been talking about Bitcoin being a reserve asset in the U.S. basically ever since it was invented, okay? And lots of disillusioned people are saying, hey, that's never going to happen. Like, that's just absolutely insane. But they said the exact same thing about ETFs for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in the U.S. And we just got those this past year. And they will likely play a huge role assuming that the Bitcoin bull run continues. Now, I want to show you the math on how exactly this could push Bitcoin to $1 million per coin and beyond. So first of all, let's start off with the fundamental reasons why. Basically, it boils down to supply and demand. Bitcoin has a finite supply, and this shifts the demand for Bitcoin to uh, uh, just a whole nother level. Because right now, most of the demand for Bitcoin is coming from retail investors, basically like people like you or I who get online and Google, like, how do I buy Bitcoin? And they buy it through exchanges or most recently ETS. Now, we do have institutions buying Bitcoin, but not to the degree that it can really move the needle in the way that I'm talking about. So that's the key is institutions. And we're not just talking about corporations. We're Now we're talking about countries. We've seen this in the past cycles with people like El Salvador, but now we're talking about the United States, which has a population, you know, 50 times the size of El Salvador and can hold way more Bitcoin. So let's actually put the puzzle pieces together about how this could push Bitcoin to $1 million per coin and beyond. Okay, so shout out to Luke Martin over on Twitter. He posted a thread of compilation moments uh, from Bitcoin and Nashville, and I want to pick out a couple of these different parts from different speeches to show you how this is possible. So first, I'm going to start off with a clip from former President Trump and his speech at the Bitcoin conference. So first, Trump basically came out and said the U.S. government's broken a cardinal rule of crypto, which is never sell your Bitcoin. And what he's basically saying here is that the U.S. plans to create a strategic Bitcoin stockpile, aka a Bitcoin reserve, to take all the Bitcoin that it currently holds and never sell it, just hold on to it. And if that initial policy is put into place, then that means that we now have a strategic Bitcoin reserve in the United States. Although it's not very big, it can be added to later and it's gonna basically going to get created from all the Bitcoin that the U.S. currently holds, which is mostly just seized Bitcoin from you know criminal operations at this point. At least that's my understanding about how it was acquired. So how do we add to it? Well, there's a couple paths forward to doing this. P different people have different ideas and this actually has bipartisan support. 
So Robert Kennedy Jr. talks about a plan for the U.S. to hold 4 million Bitcoin and basically buying 550 Bitcoins daily until it reaches that amount. And on the other side of the aisle, we have Senator Lummis, who proposes legislation for the U.S. government to buy 5% of the total Bitcoin supply and hold on to it for 20 years. 5% of the entire supply. That's absolutely insane if that happens. So if we have major nations like the United States creating strategic Bitcoin reserves, like people have been talking about for years now, taking Bitcoin and seeding those reserves and implementing some type of plan to continue to acquire Bitcoin to add to that reserve, then that could have a massive impact on the price of Bitcoin. But how high could it actually go? Could it reach $1 million per coin? Well, there's lots of different price predictions on what this could do to Bitcoin, but we do have, you know, a little clue in one of the remarks here from the speech that, you know, Bitcoin could pass gold. Like it could replace gold at some point or at least just become worth more than gold at some point. So if you want to look at how much does Bitcoin have to be worth in order to be worth a million dollars per coin? Well, if it passes gold, it will be worth a million dollars per coin. Let's think about it, because if Bitcoin is about sixty-five to seventy thousand dollars at the time of recording this video, um, it needs to be a twenty trillion dollar market cap, roughly, to be worth one million dollars per coin. Now, gold is roughly sixteen to seventeen trillion dollars in market cap, and so if we catch up with gold, then we're basically at a million dollars per coin. We just have to go slightly above that in order to reach that price point. And if we have massive nations like the United States creating strategic Bitcoin reserves, putting this type of buy pressure to our own 5% of the supply, or even less than that, just purchasing some large amount per day and never selling it to use it as a reserve, then it could easily push the price of Bitcoin to that level. But even beyond that, you know, we have people like Michael Saylor that argues that, that U.S. government should own the majority of Bitcoin in the world, basically saying the future of the country is in cyberspace and Bitcoin is cyber Manhattan. The way you back the dollar is you buy Manhattan. If you buy it before it's worth hundreds of trillions of dollars, then you can accomplish that. I mean, think about that. If we got to hundreds of trillions of dollars, even a hundred trillion dollars, that's five times the price, the five times the market cap of gold could be worth $5 million per coin. In fact, Michael Saylor, you know, adds his price predictions for Bitcoin roughly 10 years down the road, saying his bear case is $3 million per coin. His base case is $13 million per coin and his bull case is $49 million per coin. So if you feel like you missed out on buying Bitcoin at low valuations, then if any of this stuff is close to accurate, then there's potentially quite a bit of upside potential from here. Again, not financial advice, not telling you to buy or sell any cryptocurrency based on this information. All right, so that's an overview of how we could see Bitcoin rise to astronomical valuations, you know, probably $1 million per coin at some point in the future, assuming that the United States does really start taking Bitcoin seriously, creating some type of strategic Bitcoin reserve, and adding to that position and not selling it over large periods of time. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Will we actually see something like this enacted? Will we see the United States actually buying more Bitcoin purposefully for this reserve? What's going to happen to the price? Is $1 million conservative? Should we be thinking way beyond that? I want to hear from you. And whenever you're finished leaving your comment, make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. And while there's definitely some good opportunity to make money in the crypto markets, the absolute best way is to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do that step-by-step step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.